Hello, glorious double river spilling way that I haven't seen since last fall. How the hell are you today? Daddy's back to violate your ass. Can you guys believe I used to say that almost every video? Should I bring it back? I shouldn't bring it back. I'm gonna bring it back. I'm at least bringing it back in this video and stuff. What is going on, you registered stash offenders? One of my all-time favorites, and it seems fitting because the world is falling apart. Or actually, the world's probably always been apart, but there's like Nickelodeon, there's P. Diddy. You can't get away from it. You can't get away from seeing it on your phone. I haven't really looked into it. Sounds like some weird shit. So I'm just going to focus on uh, what I like to do, and that's fishing. But uh, yeah, I was planning on getting here before the sun came up. It's pretty cool down here before the sun comes up. There should have been maybe fog. I don't know. Maybe it was a different time of year, but... Uh, yeah, not only me, but apparently three other people in line had to do some morning Hershey squirting, some chocolate soft serving. And then on top of that, I got a breakfast sandwich from the gas station. I give it a solid two out of 10. It tasted like absolute shit. The only redeeming quality of it was the piece of fake cheese that was in it that was actually melted with the egg and the bun and the little tiny piece of pre-cooked bacon. It tasted like absolute dog shit, so hopefully the fishing goes a little bit better than that but yeah this place is cool we uh we're eventually gonna do a catch and cook i already have ice we're killing things today everyone's like you always have all these reasons to not keep fish keeping fish today all right we already got the ice and i'm not sure if there's gonna be a catch and cook in this video but eventually i'll be at an airbnb doing a catch and cook but first we got to catch something to cook so come along with me and uh, subscribe if you haven't and want to keep an update on how my poops are going road to 200k subscribers started forever ago we're just going for 200k subs come on with me and see what we can catch stuff and thanks but that was an old school intro the ones that i barely breathe and i talk about my poops i got a uh, baby whale tied on of course where to start where to start where to start and i got kind of a half-ass bass fishing catfish pole that uh yeah if we manage to get some shad or something we're gonna chuck it out there's bugs not the first bugs of the season but there hasn't been a lot of bugs luckily they're not skeeters i never really do well on this side but since i'm the only one here i'm gonna at least start with it and then we'll throw out the other falls. Go from there. Happy to be here. Like I said, subscribe to my nonsense. I drove two and a half hours this morning to get to a place that actually has some game fish for you guys and for me and stuff. Got something. I don't know what, but I got something. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. We got ourselves a saw guy. Didn't really bite it though. Didn't really bite it. We're on the board. He might've tried to pin it down or something, but there's something here. There's something. I envisioned something with a little more size to start off the morning, but size doesn't matter. Or that's what Boo tells me. Good old Boo. Good old Boo. See if we can catch a fish that makes Boo proud. And stuff. Hammered, hammered, awkward hook set, but hammered. Finally, tough start, tough start. <clears throat> I guess, I mean, maybe it's just a later in the day sort of deal. Later in the day sort of deal. Look at that beautiful guy. Good morning, bud. That one ate it. Coming off a major cold front, boys and girls. 
it is cold right now and uh, got down to like 15 degrees yesterday last night here and up by where i am and yeah got some company coming down we got our first eater of the trip hell yeah you never know when you drive long distances whether you're gonna pull up at a shady bridge in the middle of downtown and catch three walleyes in a row or kind of be somewhere more in the middle of nowhere not really in the middle of nowhere but not as big of a city as that bridge was and uh struggle a little bit that's all right i know some of you guys enjoy watching me struggle so this one's for you sick freaks we got ourselves some lunch though got ourselves some lunch and stuff hammered hammered clear out there too kept throwing it like at the falls and out in the middle of nowhere and I wasn't getting bit at all finally got one can't tell if it's a good one or not but it doesn't seem bad and today any of them are good ones a little small to keep and I can't believe I thought he was bigger than that I thought he was I thought he was bigger thought he was bigger saw guy number three Bud's checking me out down the way too isn't it funny when there's a couple people at a fishing spot and they're just checking each other out seeing what's working seeing who's getting bites not like p diddy checking out but like just curious on how the fishing's going i hook up and he's just staring at me and every once in a while we both lock eyes like i just looked at him and we both locked eyes we don't even know each other and we just had a moment that's how powerful fishing is boys and girls powerful stuff powerful stuff Got one. Got one. Had to come up all the way on the falls, but I got one. And he's tiny. <laughs> he's tiny. <sighs> he's dead. Can you guys even hear me? Hello? Hello? Hello. Yeah, kind of slow. Kind of slow. Bud down the way. Caught a crappie. And yeah, it's just been slow. We're going to keep plugging away. There's like borderline state record saw guy potential here. So never know when a dumb one might slip up. You never know. But we might have found the angle. We'll see. Or it was just dumb luck and stuff. All right. Well, that definitely wasn't the magic angle, and that tiny Seaguar saw guy was just a fluke. Because the next 30 casts, I didn't get bit, and it just doesn't seem like there's a lot of fish that are even here. Bud down the way left, he only caught a crappie, maybe he caught something else, but I for sure know he caught a crappie. And yeah, I'm gonna hop up here, tie on a little bit smaller finesse swim bait, maybe even a crappie plastic. And, um,. Yeah, see if we can't get any more bait or more food. We need both. We need both. And stuff. All right. Little tiny divine swim bait and a uh, tungsten jig head from Euro Tackle. They just, I mean, the baby whale ain't even working. Not real well, anyway. I think they're just kind of in an off mood. I've been kind of spoiled on my walleye experiences this year and 
having them swallow it to their anal cavity. These ones are just kind of nipping. Not sure if it was the cold front that got them out of whack or if they just have been kind of whacked off forever or if they haven't got whacked off yet at all. A lot of whacking off going on. A lot of whacking off. Hammered. Hammered. Went uh, back up top. Went a little finesse here. Got hammered. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a little whitey. It's a little whitey. We're gonna keep him as bait just in case. Because we don't have any bait. Worst case scenario, if we get some shad, we can uh, we can just eat this guy. He's got some meat on him. He's got some meat on him. He just, they're just not, you know, they're just not quite dunking it. I've been talking about it a lot when we've been, when I've been fishing with Clint, that they just hit it so hard that you just, you, you just know you got a bite. That one is just like a little peek, peek, peek. Can't be a hero every day, but I'll tell you one thing for sure. We are not a zero. Not a hero either. But we're closer to a hero. Holy shit, I about lost him. We were almost a zero there. Almost a zero. We're kinda, I mean, it's 9.30. Got here at like eight. Eight-ish. We've caught four fish, you know. Like I said, we're planning on staying until about noon. I'm waiting on a message from the Airbnb guy to let me know I can come home. Then I'm gonna go cook some lunch. And uh, yeah, maybe do some catfishing eventually. I haven't done much catfishing this year. Precisely zero. Got some. Oh no! Oh no! I might be on to something though. That felt pretty good. Maybe we need to go to like an eighth ounce baby whale. Something lighter. But that was a good find. That was a good bite. Felt like a good fish. Might be on to something. About time. And stuff. Hammered. Hammered. <laughs> Found the nursery. Holy shit. Well, when I was driving here this morning all fired up, I didn't think I'd be micro swim baiting for micro peen sag eyes, but. Micro peen saw guys are better than no saw guys, so. And we're figuring out a way to get bit. Just need to get some more white bass, crappie, or keeper saw guys, or other random, random things. We just want to catch fish, but those are the goal. That is a fish. This thing had it forever and I didn't even notice. <laughs> little newborn sad guy was chewing on it down there suckling on it like his mommy's teat he held on though good for him good for him all right i'm not gonna leave <clears throat> any more micro saw guys in this video i'll either see you with some more bait a new species some more food or at the grocery store probably the grocery store at this rate but you never know you never know and stuff. Little bit of a change of plans, boys and girls. Well, I got a really nice Airbnb. I'll show you kind of a little bit of a video of me walking into it. It was really awesome. Should have done a little bit more research though. Went to go do a lunchtime catch and cook for sustenance. I've been at, is sustenance a word? Isn't that just like maintaining 
food in your stomach. I don't know, I've been talking to Boo about it, but yeah, Airbnb was real nice. I should have looked into it a little bit more because it did not have a stove. I didn't think I could uh, cook walleye foley's with a microwave. I actually probably should have tried, but yeah. It definitely would have been funnier, but it wouldn't have been safer. So we're back home, gonna do a little catch and cook. Might have Boo try some. Actually, we'll have Boo try some, and uh, maybe, maybe the kids or something. I don't really know. But... Boo is uh, off to the school to pick up the kids, and I got a quiet home to my house, home to myself, <laughs> to cook up some food. So without further ado, let's do it. We're making spring rolls. Never done it before. Might screw it up. We'll see. And stuff. Oakley doakley, boys and girls, back home. And it's actually kind of a little bit of a blessing because when I went to the grocery store where I was at, I didn't actually get any seasonings. So I have seasonings at home and I'm choosing one that uh, might be kind of surprising. It is Shin Ramen Powder Spicy. So the kids might not like these, but me and Boo will. But this stuff's pretty hot. So we're just gonna do just a little bit just to give it a little bit of flavor. We're gonna use some sauce with our spring rolls too, but walleye's not gonna take very long. Got it in uh, little tiny cubes. Gonna dump it in some avocado oil. Might fry some of the spring rolls as well. We got spring roll wrappers. I was looking for egg roll wrappers, kind of like Murray did, because they looked really good. Or maybe even uh, crab rangoon, but we're keeping it Asian themed with the blue dragon spring rolls they kind of just look like food like a salad shrimp fish whatever you put in it with like a dang condom on them so they look kind of weird i've never had one before even at a restaurant so we'll see if it's any good all right seems ready wish it was a little hotter but it's not going to be like ryan fish so it's not that important a little bit of extra ramen juice just for fun and yeah just gonna kind of Stir this around until they look done. I didn't know if the fish would get cooked all the way inside of the rolls if I fried the rolls. So I'm going this route of being safe rather than, sorry. I'm gonna put a lid on just to kind of get a steam effect going. Make sure the tops get cooked through and through. They're tiny pieces, so it should. And if you're wondering if I was picking my nose, I was. Sometimes you need your finger to get it and a Kleenex just won't do the job. That's what I tell myself anyway. All right, I can't imagine a world where that's not done for just little tiny pieces of walleye. They look kind of good. They smell good too. Wish you guys could smell them. Yeah, they're flaking apart. Try to put these bad boys together. All righty, got some thinly sliced green onions. Chalots, whatever they're, no, not chalots. What's the bottom of a green onion? It's kind of a gross word. Leeks, what a terrible name for something you put in your mouth. It's like almost as bad as moist. And we got some teriyaki noodles with some edamame that I made the other day that we're just gonna leave cold, you know? All right, how do we open these things? Childproof, it says warm water. I mean, they're supposed to get softer because right now it just looks like a damn piece of plastic. Oh, holy shit. It's running from the water. See that thing? It curled up. Oh, it's bendy. It is bendy. And it says you pat it dry with a tea towel. I'm not sure what the hell a tea towel is, so we just got a regular towel. And it curled up and shriveled up in a weird way. Let's see if we can get this baby flat. Flat as possible. That is not flat, but it is as flat as possible. If I can get this to stick together and look presentable, I think it's gonna be good. And even if I can't get it to stick together and look presentable, I think just the ingredients mixed together will be good, so it won't be a total loss. I'll have to kinda work through how many ingredients this little condom, food condom, walleye condom spring roll can hold. But we'll start there and see what crappens. Got some sweet chili sauce too from the grocery store, so that's gonna be our dippy. All right, it says bottom up first. Maybe I was supposed to leave it on the tea towel. Anybody know what a tea towel is? I guess I could have Googled it, but it's just as fun to ask you guys. It's actually, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of working. It's 
kind of working it's got a weird texture though and that noodle noodle just penetrated it but such is life such is life that feels as weird as it looks we'll give it a shot see if it's worthy of boo even eating it mm. holy damn that's delicious that's really really good actually minus like one weird texture with the condom thing might be one of the better fish recipes i've ever done mm. Mm. wow that's delicious Alrighty, well, for those of you that are wondering, Boo did actually enjoy the meat vegetable condoms. I gave some to my dad, he was weirded out. Everyone was kind of weirded out by the texture, I don't know. I should have fried some of them, but I didn't. And I still thought they were pretty good. They did actually get kind of tighter as I got, this is getting weird, as I practiced and as I did more of them. And um, yeah, pretty good. Try some string, spring rolls if you want to but maybe frying. But one thing I do wanna bring up is, uh, yeah, something I don't bring up very much, merch. Trying to get rid of the merch that I have so I can make new merch. We have a lot of it. It's kind of been the same for a long time, which is my fault, but uh, I really wanna get into making some new merch and we gotta get rid of some of it first. So check out the uh, Six Sense website. It's uh, linked down below to go straight to the uh, Stash Collection, Pig Patrol Collection. And um, I convinced them to give away a stash rod every quarter for someone who purchases merch. So now there's a little bit of extra incentive for uh, getting a shirt or a hat or what have you. A lot of stuff's in stock. We're working on getting decals back in stock too. And I'm just going to be a little bit more active with the merch store because I've been slacking ass. But anyway, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. I think June 30th we're going to give away a stash stick, 6.6 six medium light. Another thing is there's 235 6.6 six medium lights. There's no mediums and there's some bait casters. I'm not sure how the hell that happened, but the 6.6 six medium light's my favorite. So if you could check those out, maybe pick yourself up one, pick your loved ones up one or something like that. Thanks for watching. See you later. Stuff. Thanks. Pow. Goodbye.